Major Kelly McCoy. I'm a U.S. Army officer. I'm stationed at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. When I uh, first moved to the 82nd Airborne Division, I was assigned to a unit that had never had a female engineer officer. I'm five feet tall, blonde hair. I was very conscious of my outward appearance and you know what kind of a first impression that makes. Like women in many career fields, um, when they're going into a new place where females aren't established and accepted, it's always a challenge. Um, but as I've grown through the ranks, I've come to appreciate the uh, typically female attributes that um, can actually make you a different kind of leader than a male, um, such as being empathetic and more caring about soldiers and their families. The top things that I need to do my job are a rifle, a radio, and a knowledge of pop culture. My rifle is very important to me. It's the primary means of self-defense while you're in combat. My unit's currently training to assume the mission of the Global Response Force. Um, one thing we could do as a, the Global Response Force, in addition to humanitarian assistance, would be airfield seizure. Uh, the radio is one of our most important pieces of equipment. For example, in, in Iraq, I was uh, patrolling in, near Fallujah and was hit with an IED, and my radio became my lifeline in my vehicle. It's how you report what is going on to your commanders. It's how you call for uh, medical assistance and how you call for reinforcements. Uh, the fact that I always go to the most dangerous spot while I'm deployed is actually a quote from my mother, who seems to think that whenever I get deployed is when things heat up in that area. The majority of our soldiers are, are fairly young, um, under age 25 or so, and I think it's important as you get older to uh, maintain some means of staying relatable to them. So I pay attention to pop culture. It gives you a way of talking to soldiers um, and understanding what's going on in their lives and still seem approachable.